one, configure it first. First thing that I like to do here is just do the keychain. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, we'll do the keychain. We'll just name it router one or router two. And then we'll uh, have one key. So key one will be uh, the key string, which is the password. We'll just call it uh, Cisco, the capital C. And then what I'll do is I'll go under the interface connected to uh, to router two, which is if I look at it is fastening at zero zero. So I'll go to interface fastening at zero zero, and then I'll do IP authentication mode EIGRP, and then the autonomous system number which is one, and then MD five, and that's it. And then what we need to do is specify one more command. As you can see here, my neighbor relationship is down. What I'll do here is specify the next command, which is IP authentication keychain, and then here I need to specify my uh, you know, EIGRP process one, and then my keychain that I made, which is R1 to R2. And if I do a show IP, let's see, show IP EIGRP interface FA00. No, let's see. Show IP EIGRP. Give me one second here. Okay, the command I'm looking for is detail. It's show IP EIGRP interfaces detail and then faster than zero zero. As you can see here, you can this is where you'll be able to you know see your uh, uh, your hello interval that you have configured. Um, you also be able to you know to see your authentication mode here. We're using MD5 keychain is R1 to R2. So it's very uh, helpful when you're doing troubleshooting, trying to figure out, you know, why a, a neighbor's down. Uh, you might want to check authentication. Um, again, your hello interval. How many times your hello go out? And what we're going to do now is go to router two. As you can see here, if I do a show IP EIGRP neighbor, you can see here that I've only got a neighbor relationship with router four. My relationship with router one has been broken. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and create a keychain on this side, which will be R2 to R1. Then we're just going to use one key, which is key one, and our key string here, which is our password, we'll just call it Cisco. And then what we'll do is we'll go under interface. That's um, zero zero, which you can see here. FA00 is my connection to router 1. So we'll go interface FA00 and we'll do the two commands under the interface, which is IP authentication uh, mode EIGRP process 1. Then we're going to do MD5. Then we're going to do IP authentication in the keychain, which is going to be EIG for EIGRP process 1. And then it's going to be router 2 to router 1. And then once I hit enter here, you should see the EIGRP uh, neighbor relationship come right back up. As you can see here, I do have a new uh, neighbor adjacency with router 1. So if I do a show IP EIGRP neighbor, you can see here that my neighbor adjacency is up for about 10 seconds. And uh, that's it. That's the IGRP uh, MB5 authentication. Uh, it's real simple. You just go in to global config, create the keychain, and then you go under the interface you want to apply uh, that keychain, and you have to uh, put in the IP authentication uh, mode MD5, and then you do the authentication and then specify the keychain. Again, to uh, check that, you just do a show IP EIGRP uh, interface detail and then specify the interface. Then there you can see the keychain and the authentication mode that you're using, as well as you know other things here too. Okay, so that's. Uh, 
that's pretty much a good a good first uh, you know first video first lab on EIGRP just gives you the basics how to set up um, EIGRP you know how to enable it on your router you know how to advertise networks into EIGRP how to calculate the composite metric in EIGRP and also um, what we did last year we just basically you know uh, we did some EIGRP authentication using MD5 and uh, that's pretty much it uh, you can do a lot with EIGRP a lot more advanced things but I just wanted to show you guys the basics for now and uh, if I have time and if I do have the time we'll go ahead and do some more advanced EIGRP labs so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and I hope you guys will be with me next time